Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to have a look at a brief application of sequences, and that is we talk about annuities. So this is called application annuities. Now, what is an annuity? Let's say you're taking out a real estate loan then you usually repay that using annuities. That means you'll pay a fixed amount every month or every year or every other period that you agreed upon. And part of that is taken to pay the interest on the loan. And whatever remains is then deducted from the remaining credit balance. So that's the idea of annuities. And of course, that is a discrete time process that can be modeled as a sequence. And you will usually be interested in what point you have paid off your loan fully or what the annuity has to be to pay off your loan within a given time period. So that's an application for sequences that appears fairly often, real estate loans. So real estate loans are often repaid as annuities. And that means, let's say, you take out a loan, let's call it capital L, at interest rate R, 2%, for example, and you repay your fixed amount every year. Let's call it A, this fixed amount, that is the annuity. And we just keep it simple by repaying that annuity every year. Usually it's repaid every month or so, um, but the idea is the same and that only makes, makes it more technical. So the question is, how does the credit balance develop over time? Well, of course, let's say we have a credit balance CN, and that is the credit balance by the end of year N. Then, of course, at the very beginning, before the first year even starts, we'll have C0, that is the initial value, that's the loan you're taking out. Then at the end of the first year, you're paying your first annuity. That means you have to pay, of course, you have to pay back the loan itself, and there's interest on the loan. So the amount that you are due by the end of the first year is L times 1 plus R. So the loan plus, let's say, 2% interest. All right, so that is the, the interest here, plus the original loan. And then you pay the annuity. So we deduct this annuity payment A. So that's the credit balance by the end of the first year. And that is, of course, equal to C0 times one plus R minus A. Now, in general, that becomes complicated quickly. If you want to know what is your credit balance by the end of the N plus first year, then of course, that is equal to CN times one plus R, so you pay interest on the remaining loan after the end of the last year, and then you again pay your annuity. So that's, as you can see, a recursive definition. And what we like to have is an explicit formula. So can we find an explicit formula here? 
well, of course, we can just repeat that process uh, because we know what Cn is. Cn is given as Cn minus 1 times 1 plus R minus A. And then this is multiplied by 1 plus R and A is deducted to get Cn plus 1. So what we get here is Cn minus 1 times 1 plus R squared minus A times 1 plus R minus A. So basically what you have here is the loan from two years ago. You pay interest on that for two years. And then you deduct the interest that you saved from making the payment of A one year ago. And of course you deduct the payment A itself as well. So if you continue that process, and you find that you can do this in the very same way, basically the loan can then be computed as the initial loan, C0. And you pay interest on that one, for all the years, for all the n plus 1 years. And then you deduct the annuity payments that you made. And of course, that will also save you interest. The earlier the medium you made them, the more interest will be saved. So you have to sum up here, starting at 0 to n. So for the first year, you'll only pay the annuity, and then for all the other years, you save on that paid annuity. So that means you get to save the interest on that, of course, that's one plus R to the power of K, right? For the payment in the first year, you save for all the subsequent years for the payment in the second year, you serve, you, you again save for all the subsequent years without the first year, of course, and so forth and so on. So that's what's happening here. So the annuity from year one is deducted with a factor of one plus r to the n, the next one with a factor of one plus r to the n minus one until you just have a factor of one. So the current annuity is just subtracted with no interest factor. Now, you know there's a formula for that. Um, so first part, we just copy that one. Um, we only replace C0 by the loan and then we can compute the value for that sum. That is a geometric sum. So you know the formula for geometric sums, hopefully. Um, if you don't, let me remind you. You can compute the sum from zero to n over some q to the power of k. That is equal to q to the n plus one minus one over q minus one. And that's exactly what we are going to use here. So if we apply that to q equals one plus r, right, so this here is q. So we have a sum of q to the k from zero to n. And that means what we get is one plus r, to the power of n plus one minus one over one plus r minus one. So that's just r. So now we have an explicit formula for Cn or Cn plus one. So from the recursive definition, we got back an explicit formula. It doesn't look very nice, um, but still it's an explicit formula. So for any given n, you can always um, compute the credit balance. And of course, if you know that, you should also be able to compute when you have paid back your loan for a given annuity, or also what annuity you would have to choose to pay back your loan within a certain amount of years or periods more generally. 
So that completes this little look at an application, paying annuities. Um, next, we'll talk about convergence a little more and to see what criteria there are for convergence. And we also talk about a few important sequences in the following videos. I'll see you then.